Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Kiki Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Patreon imploding because I, I want to walk you back about three years. And we did a video. I remember doing a video about this because people were asking why we didn't use Patreon. Yeah, um, this is why. Lots of drama around Patreon banning people, taking their money. It was et cetera, very nebulous. So. And, and when you ask for, like, you know, give me straight criteria, oh, it's case by case basis depending on who you are and how you feel about you. And it's like, no. Yeah, so. Be a rubric here, people. Yeah, and Patreon, then they started banning people for doing uh, uh, anime art and all this other weird stuff. We're gonna talk about this, but I remember bringing this article up where Jack Conte, the CEO of Patreon said, the company's generous business model is not sustainable. Fast forward to uh, today or yesterday and Patreon's laying a bunch of people off, closing its offices in Berlin and Dublin. 17% uh, of staff got oh, cut. that's not good. This is after a bunch of their security people got let go. This company- 17% of staff that was left not counting the security yes. people. Ooh. Um, this company is imploding. They're imploding and people are leaving. And I'll tell you why they're leaving. Well, we're gonna talk about this uh, this rumor too that they, they think that there are, there's uh, uh, some, some trafficking going on. Now it's so weird that they were so concerned about cartoon characters. Oh but, yeah, on your hard drive or whatever, or your Google Drive or whatever. Right, but apparently there are allegations, which they deny, but there are allegations that uh, people are using Patreon for CP. That's the other hard drive. That's, oh God. Okay, so we'll, we'll talk about that. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, over 275,000 subs. Whoa. Thank you for the support. Speaking of support, we do not have a Patreon, but we like it when you patronize us and buy stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't patronize us too much though, because we can see right through it. But yeah, we'd rather you buy a product from us than just like give us free money. I mean, if you want to give us free money, I like free money, but I'd rather you get something. Well, there return. are tiers on here that you could just donate. You could. And not, not get a book. You just want to say, hey, I like your content. Here you go. And people do that. Um, If you go out to Indiegogo for a couple more days yet, uh, the Crimson Ren campaign is live. Uh, it's over $62,000 in pre-sales. So we're at almost a thousand Crimson Ren books sold. Yeah, I have cool. to pack all that. Yeah, we gotta pack <laughs> so all that. I, I do it. I pack it all. It could be worse. It could be uh, like 12,000 books or yeah. 40,000 books. But I personally um, pack these. Personally packed. I personally do. packed. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to um, probably leave this in demand for a couple of weeks and then do a couple of weeks on Kickstarter. People asked us specifically to do Kickstarter, which honestly, given, you know, we talked about this before that people are duplicating Indiegogo campaigns on Kickstarter. So I'd rather it be us mm -hmm. than somebody else get the bright idea to, to do it anyway. So we'll, we'll do that, but um, it's a beautiful book guys I'm giving you a spiel before check it out, put a link in the comments. Um, no, we don't use Patreon, uh, you know, and it's we, kind of, we a, have reason. We have, a, we have reasons for it. Yeah. Um, the, my big issue with Patreon always has been that, you're basically pushing your audience to Patreon and they're getting a cut. And there's nothing that they do that you can't do on your own. In fact, uh, Jack Conte admitted as much. They lifted the business model from webcomics people and podcasters. They were already doing it with newsletters, their own online stores, their own subscriptions and stuff through PayPal. And they basically said, hey, we're going to centralize all of this and uh, we're going to take a cut. But uh, unfortunately, the cut keeps going up and up. And um, then they were trying to charge the, the backers more. They were trying to pass the uh, service fees on to the backers. Yep. So people thought they're backing you for five bucks and they're getting billed like six dollars and something. Mm -hmm. And uh, then really the straw that broke the camel's back for us was when they started banning people for doing things off of their platform. Now, if you're putting stuff that violates their terms of service on their platform, that's one thing. But they were like, oh, somebody said the N-word on a podcast that's completely unrelated. unrelated yeah. And it wasn't even their podcast. It was somebody else's podcast, whatever the deal was. And it was it was out of context. And it was Sargon, I guess. Um, but they they pulled the plug on that account. They kept his money. And that's what I'm saying. It's nebulous. When you ask for like, well, what's the rubric so I know what to do? Oh, we can't tell you that. It's case by case. Yeah. And the difference with them and say YouTube is YouTube actually, they've gone out of their way to try to explain things. They give you like three strikes or out. Um, you can actually get a hold of somebody if you're a bigger sometimes. creator. Sometimes. <laughs> but I'm just saying, 
what made Patreon completely unnecessary. Originally, Patreon was started as um, like a membership service for YouTube creators because Conte, he was a music creator on YouTube. And then YouTube introduced their own memberships, you know, to compete with Twitch. Mm -hmm. You don't need Patreon anymore because everything Patreon does, you can do on all these other platforms. But anyway... Let's get to the point. Anyway, um, they're not doing well. A lot of people jump and ship for various reasons. Uh, Patreon lays off 17% of employees, cuts back creator partnership team. Uh, they say it laid off 80 employees or 17% of its workforce with uh, CEO Jack Conti. He looks exactly like I thought he'd look. Yeah, he does. Uh, citing an economic slowdown coming on the heels of a COVID-driven expansion by the creator monetization company. Yeah, a lot of people went to Patreon to panhandle or, I mean, sell their content and OnlyFans. Uh, and uh, it, it blew up, and then it's now it's just blowing up, blowing up. Uh, Conte announced the cutbacks in a memo to staff Tuesday as part of the cost-cutting steps. They're closing its offices in Berlin and Dublin and will reduce the size of its creator partnership operation to take more a more scaled approach with a smaller, consolidated team in the U.S. Um, over the last nine months, we've seen the tech industry and the whole economy change considerably. Yes. Uh, in April 2021, Patreon said it raised $155 million in Series F funding. Yes, I remember Remember, we talked about that. And we're like, this is ridiculous. That they're trying to say that they were valued at $4 billion. And we're like, how? I remember we talked about it. Yeah. Um, and look, Series F, I'm like, holy hell. Patreon has been living on venture Literally, capital. Literally, that's what they've been doing. For 10 years. My next comment is, why do these people keep, keep giving them money? That's what I don't understand. Like, if I had money to give and I was giving out venture capital funds, I would not be giving it when they're on round F. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's it's crazy. Um, Because that, that just tells me that they've... I mean, this is how many rounds of funding they've gone they through. They hit G as a stand for God, you're stupid. You know, here's here's uh, the round Z, and it's like 50 bucks at this point. Because, like, are you guys going to turn a profit or what? Um, they said the surge in business Patreon saw during COVID led the company to build an operating plan to support this outsized growth. No, I think they're just cutting back on people. I mean, they did have they did have more creators, basically more people begging for money because they lost their jobs. Is it time to go for round G and they have to look at their profitable so they cut a bunch of people? Probably. Patreon's going to continue to increase its investments in product engineering and design teams, as well as maintain its commitment to outstanding service and support for creators. What do they what do? What support for creators? What do they do? They basically... Take your money and take a cut, and you still have to generate the content. You still have, you know what I'm saying? And then you always have to worry about whether or not they're going to find something they don't like and cut you. Well, I remember back a couple of years ago, too, people were just weren't getting paid, remember? Like, they stopped paying them or whatever. Yeah, I remember that. And people were fighting to get their money. Yeah. I'm like, what do they do for you? No, literally nothing. Uh, so they talked about how they laid off their security employees. Um, yeah, it makes me feel so much safer going with them. Yeah, they said, unfortunately, the change generated concern that we were reducing our security it is investment. exactly what people think. Uh, I wanted to make it clear, especially in light of today's change, that we are, in fact, increasing our investment in security. We're going to lay the rest of you off to go hire more cheaper security people. So that makes me um, feel so much better. Patreon employees laid off in the U.S. will receive three months severance plus an additional two weeks for each half year of tenure beyond the first year. Cobra Healthcare. Well, at least they're doing that. Yeah, that's I mean, nice. I mean, like I said, most places don't even give you this. Our focus is sharpened. Our mission is unchanged. We will help build a world in which creative people are cherished, respected, and powerful with tools and infrastructure to help them realize the potential. As long for as we, 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 get to, we get to lure it over you and you have to give us a cut. The people that are that good at monetizing aren't using Patreon. They, they've moved on to their own storefronts. They've moved on to building their own empires. What's up with this child trafficking thing? Oh, okay. Let's talk about that. All right. So trigger warning, trigger warning. Uh, do I need to leave? No, you don't need to Are leave. Are you sure? I don't, I don't, I don't think want to be triggered. Do. So here's, here's the thing. The, Patreon was being ridiculous uh, last year, the year before. If you had any anime characters doing lewd stuff in your, your Google Drive, your portfolio, whatever. They wanted to see it because they were really cracking down on lewd artwork. Well, now there are allegations that uh, people are using Patreon for a hell of a lot more than artwork. Oh. So they flipped out about the anime art, and apparently they had bigger things to worry about. Again, this is a rumor. I can't substantiate that, but it would not surprise me in the least. It would not surprise me in the least that people were using this service for something like this. Uh, this is coming from Ars Technica. Patreon denies child uh, SEX trafficking claims and viral TikTok conspiracy theory. Patreon partner explains why 
the C word uh, may still appear on Patreon. Wait, what? Uh, a TikTok accused Patreon of ignoring reports and knowingly profiting off of accounts posting CP, uh, attracting hundreds of thousands of views. More TikTokers piled on, generating more interest and views. Patreon immediately responded by branding the TikToks as disinformation. In a blog, Patreon denied allegations accusing TikTokers of spreading a conspiracy that Patreon knowingly hosts illegal uh, CP. But they got rid of somebody for saying the N-word in a completely unrelated context, right, right, apparently, right. on somebody else's podcast, and they kept like 12 grand. Or Yeah, according to Patreon, the conspiracy theory sprang from a fake post on Glassdoor. The Glassdoor review was posted in August and claimed that Patreon refused to respond to reports of accounts suspected of selling lewd photographs of uh, kids. As TikTokers described their failed attempts, to report these accounts, Patreon laid off members of its security team, and Patreon said onlookers inaccurately linked to the small-scale staffing changes we made last week to our security organization. Something's up. Yeah, this is weird. Uh, why are people getting fired? Something's up. The TikTokers claim that Patreon laid off its staff specifically for not complying with orders to allow CP to step... What? The TikTokers claim... That Patreon laid off its security staff specifically for not complying with orders to allow CP to stay on the platform. Interestingly, uh, Jack Conte said that um, the reason that the security people were cut loose had nothing to do with this round of layoffs. He said those cuts were part of a longer term strategy to continue distributing security responsibilities across our entire That doesn't make any sense. Why do you have all these security people that you hired that you didn't bother telling them that they were temporary, apparently? Yeah. I mean, it's weird. Patreon said dangerous and conspiratorial disinformation on TikTok began circulating on social media. Uh, we want to tell our creators and patrons. Um, they we're know not going to tell you if they were. They're not going to tell you. They know these claims I mean, are it is false. it's all just a rumor, and it, and it could completely be false. I mean, to, to be fair. To be fair. To be fair to Patreon in this regard, they were going out of their way to even take down anime art that could be misconstrued. Right. So it's a little, as, it's a little weird that you know. It, there's a lot of weirdness here. It would be a little weird that they'd be allowing that as far as they went before, for one. And two, it's a little weird that they're getting rid of the security team. I think I honestly think it's more because they're trying to save money. Yeah, and it's because of this. It but, just so. seems. I mean, it could even be a disgruntled employee being like, you know. Oh well, yeah, because it's one review on Glassdoor, so and people jumped on it on TikTok, so that's true. Because some people make up stuff on Glassdoor. We've seen it. So Vice, uh, Vice did a report on again. I don't know firsthand. I'm just reading the article, guys. Uh, in the TikTok videos, the lewd photos from Patreon, Vice said were a mixture of family accounts and accounts featuring adult models engaging in age play and posing as kids. Okay. I hear crickets. You but hear you're crickets? not allowed. You're not allowed to have pictures of anime girls because they might be construed as being younger than they are. But you can have adults dressing as kids and posing as kids. The An age play. The creator of the age play account, one vice reported, was eventually banned from Patreon and other platforms. Uh, Patreon U.S. policy head Ellen Satter White told Vice that Patreon has zero tolerance for the sexualization of kids Good. or teenagers and will remove any user and all associated content found to be in violation of the policy. Again, okay, so they said they took care of it. Yeah, you know, here's the thing too, they can't monitor everything. Right. And I'm not trying to give them a pass here, I'm but I'm not. But there was that there was that account of, you know, the one person doing the anime art that they wanted to see in their Google Drive too. But then the flip side of that, it might be that they're like, if you're drawing pictures of five year olds doing stuff, dirty stuff, we we can't give you money for that. Like, you understand. Right. That's, we can't do so that. So, I don't know. We don't know what it is. We're just telling you what they said. So, there are a lot of, a lot of issues going on A lot on of here. allegations. Uh, I think they're toast. I think Patreon's toast. I think they are unnecessary. Something weird, it's not really Patreon, but it's kind of like the same idea about laundering money, is this whole thing. I, I, okay, I've noticed this on eBay, okay? Now, it could be completely coincidental, but if you look up pictures of Beanie Baby, like Beanie Babies. You're like, look at the Beanie Babies for the prices. You'll find Beanie Babies that technically aren't worth much of anything. And they're asking for like $10,000 for this Beanie Baby and they're getting it. Yeah, it's a little weird. And then other people selling the exact same Beanie Baby because like, holy shit, you know, they're not even getting like $30 for the same thing. Mm -hmm. You see this all the time, these weird Beanie Babies. And I'm sitting there like, there's, this looks like money laundering to me. Like I said, I don't know. Yeah. But it's a little weird. 
And that's unrelated, but it just popped in my head. I, I just, I, I, I can't, I can't tell people to use Patreon. I've been saying for years, ever, ever since it became obvious that they were gonna ban you for any reason. Right, and they would refuse to give explanations. Yeah, and then it's like, there, there's no value there. The only, I mean, everything that they do, you can do yourself very easily through your own website or through PayPal or something directly. You don't need them. They're just taking a cut of your money. Right. Not, people aren't gonna just find you on Patreon. That, that That's a myth, and that's kind of the same with crowdfunding too. People think that, um, they're gonna put your stuff on this website and all these people are gonna magically find your, your project or your whatever. No, you basically bring your audience to their platform and they take a cut of your money that your audience gives you. Right, it's already your people anyway. Right, and that's how they, they grow. So, I don't know guys, uh, I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. I mean, they got some more funding, but I think I think And then until next time, they'll get more funding and they'll get more funding and more funding because it's not, seemingly profitable. It's not profitable. It's not sustainable. Jack Conte said it himself three years ago, but here we are. Yeah. We're giving them more money. That's right. All right. We're going to wrap it up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.